So I heard there's people out there who can use a sink without making a mess. Well, I'm not one of these people. And of course, a little bit of water on the countertop isn't much of a problem, but I want to avoid any water getting behind the counter and through that crack between the counter and the insect screen. So I want to build some sort of a backsplash that covers this up, some plastic surface that goes all the way up here and down here that holds off the water from running down into this crack. I bought a sheet of Lexan polycarbonate. This is 18 by 24. And this is what I will be building my backsplash from. This 18 by 24 sheet fits in nicely and it covers the area behind the sink and then all the way up to the cabinet. And initially I wanted to cut it into an L shape just to basically remove this part and just cover with the plexiglass the part of the van that is not see-through. But now I'm thinking I just leave it like this and once I remove the protective film it will be translucent obviously and it protects it even better. So, and if I don't like it, I can always cut it a little more open here. I used some painter's tape to trace out the shape of the countertop. It has that little curvy part right here and I need to replicate that into the backsplash. Once I had my template, I transferred it to a piece of plywood and cut out the shape with the jigsaw. And remember to always color match your jacket with your tools. And then I used the handle of an old cat litter box and built some sort of a hinge. So these two parts now can act as a clamp with the plastic piece in the middle. So I'm gonna heat it up a little bit and then hopefully I can bend it into shape to follow the curve of the counter. While the plastic sheet cools down, I can do the prep work here on the outside. It's just a Velcro here, so you can just fold this back temporarily. And then there's one screw down here in the corner. Well, actually the one on the outside, I don't even need to take out because the, um, the plexiglass will go behind it, but there's a few on the inside that I need to remove. So this should slide in here nicely now. It's probably very hard to see on camera. The, the plexiglass now follows the curve of the counter here, goes all the way up into the corner and of course I will later then caulk this. And I can also see and mark now where the original screw holes are. Four in here and then there's one up here somewhere. And I can drill them into the plexiglass and then I can use the original screws and with them mount the plexiglass to the van and make it all nice. And also here on the outside, I will be drilling in some holes to put a few screws in to hold it in from this side. And then up here, I can use some um, double-sided tape, something to stick it against the upper cabinet so it doesn't rattle. Well, you probably won't see anything. I mean, this is very transparent. <laughs>
Well, and now I can use the original screws. So and up here I'm just using some of this super strong double-sided tape. Looks good. I can still see through. And of course this will be covered with this insect screen. And then I need to put a bit of caulking down here. Maybe over the screws, but maybe not. And then while I'm at it, I will put some of this fake subway tile this is like a stick on material um, put that on this back wall here i think it looks a lot nicer than this original wall so that's it and i think the plastic fake tiles look really good and the real plastic backsplash you can't see at all and this is exactly what i wanted thank you for watching and i hope to see you soon bye bye are these real? I sure hope so. Mmm. Waffles. <laughs>